Game Maker Studio, formerly Animo until 1999, Game Maker until 2011, Game Maker until 2012, and Game Maker Studio until 2017 is a cross-platform game engine developed by YoYo Games. Game Maker accommodates the creation of cross-platform and multi-genre video games using a custom drag and drop visual programming language or a scripting language known as Game Maker language, which can be used to develop more advanced games that could not be created just by using the drag and drop features. Game Maker was originally designed to allow novice computer programmers to be able to make computer games without much programming knowledge by use of these actions. Recent versions of software also focus on appealing to advanced developers. Topic Overview GameMaker is primarily intended for making games with 2D graphics, allowing out-of-box use of raster graphics, vector graphics via SWF, and 2D skeletal animations via Esoteric Software's Spine along with a large standard library for drawing graphics and 2D primitives. While the software allows for use of 3D graphics, this is in form of vertex buffer and matrix functions, and as such not intended for novice users. The engine uses Direct 3D on Windows, UWP, and Xbox One, OpenGL on Mac OS and Linux, OpenGL S on Android and iOS, WebGL or 2D Canvas on HTML5, and proprietary APIs on consoles. The engine's primary element is an IDE with built-in editors for raster graphics, level design, scripting, paths, and shaders GLSL or HLSL. Additional functionality can be implemented in software scripting language or platform-specific native extensions. Topic: <laughs> Supported platforms. GameMaker supports building for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu, HTML5, Android, iOS, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, Microsoft UWP, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Support for the Nintendo Switch was announced in March 2018, with Undertale to be the first such title to be brought to the Switch. In past, GameMaker supported building for Windows Phone, deprecated in favor of UWP, Tizen, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita, not supported in GMS2, largely for business reasons. PlayStation Portable support was demonstrated in May 2010, but never made publicly available with only a small selection of titles using it. Raspberry Pi support was demonstrated in February 2016, but as of May 2018 not released. Between 2007 and 2011, YoYo Games maintained a custom web player plugin for GameMaker Games before releasing it as open source mid-2011 and finally deprecating in favor of HTML5 export. <laughs> Drag and drop Drag and drop DND is GameMaker's visual scripting tool. DND allows developers to perform common tasks like instantiating objects, calling functions, or working with files and data structures without having to write a single line of code. It remains to be largely aimed at novice users, while historically DND remained fairly limited in what can be comfortably done with it. GameMaker Studio 2 had seen an overhaul to the system, allowing more tasks to be done with DND, and having it translate directly to code with an in-eyed preview for users interested in migrating to code. Topic GameMaker Language GameMaker Language is GameMaker's scripting language. It is an imperative, dynamically typed language commonly likened to JavaScript and C-like languages. The language historically tries to accommodate different programming backgrounds and styles, basic, Lua style and, or, keywords can be used interchangeably with C style and an, operators, parentheses around conditions in if statements and loops can be omitted, semicolons are largely optional, insertion happens at the end of statement, compile error is raised in case of ambiguity. The language's default mode of operation on native platforms is via a stack machine, it can also be source-to-source -source compiled to C++ via LLVM for higher performance. On HTML5, GML is source-to-source -source compiled to JavaScript with optimizations and minification applied in non-debug builds. History GameMaker was originally developed by Mark Overmars. 
The program was first released on the 15th of November 1999 under the name of Animo at the time, a graphics tool with limited visual scripting capabilities. First versions of program were being developed in Delphi. Subsequent releases seen the name change to Game Maker and software moving towards more general purpose 2D game development. Versions below 5.0 have been freeware, version 5.1 introduced an optional registration fee, version 5.3 January 2004 introduced a number of new features for registered users, including particle systems, networking, and possibility to extend games using DLLs, version 6.0 October 2004 introduced limited functionality for use of 3D graphics, as well as migrating the runtime's drawing pipeline from VCL to DirectX, growing public interest led Overmars to seek help in expanding the program, which led to partnership with YoYo Games in 2007. From this point onward, development was handled by YoYo Games while Overmars retained a position as one of company's directors. Version 7.0 was the first to emerge under this partnership. The first macOS compatible version of program was released in 2009, allowing games to be made for two operating systems with minimal changes. Version 8.1 April 2011 sees the name changed to GameMaker lacking a space to avoid any confusion with the 1991 software GameMaker. This version also had the runtime rewritten in C++ to address performance concerns with previous versions. September 2011 sees the initial release of GameMaker HTML5 a new version of software with capability to export games for web browsers alongside with desktop, GameMaker, Studio entered public beta in March 2012 and enjoyed a full release in May 2012. Initial supported platforms included Windows, Mac, HTML5, Android, and iOS. Additional platforms and features were introduced over the years following. Late 2012 there was an accident with anti-piracy measures misfiring for some legitimate users. In February 2015, GameMaker was acquired by Playtech together with YoYo Games. Announcement reassured that GameMaker will be further improved and states plans to appeal to broader demographic, including advanced developers. November 2016 sees the initial release of GameMaker Studio 2 beta, with full release in March 2017. This version spots a completely redesigned ID rewritten in C -sharp and a number of new editor and runtime features. Reception The program currently holds a rating of 8.5.10 on ModDB based on 223 user reviews. Many cite its flexibility and ease of use as positives and instability, crashes, project corruption and outdated features as negatives. Douglas Clements of Indie Game Magazine wrote that the program S simplifies and streamlines game development and is easy for beginners yet powerful enough to grow as you develop," though noting that, "...resource objects have to be gathered if unable to create," and that licensing between Steam and the YoYo Games website is convoluted. <laughs>